Smell that? It's time for a swing dance reaction video. No. 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 Yeah! Jamin Jackson, welcome to Street Smart Swing. I am your official online arbiter of all things Lindy Hop. I'm super excited to look at this new video. I'm not sure what the format is, so let's take a look at it. It looks like it is a strictly in uh, Lindy Hop tournament final, so I'm not sure uh, specifically if that is a strictly or if that is a Jack and Jill, which is an improvised format. Strictly is also an improvised format, but the details of it vary a little bit. Some competitions highlight uh, the ability for the contestants to do choreography alongside with some improvisational aspects of their uh, presentation. So let's get right into this one. And here we go. All right, I'm ready for this one. Let's see what goes down. I'm really curious. I don't know the format of how they're gonna do this, so we'll see. Oh, it's just straight up battling, okay. This audience is really into it. Yes! Like those spins. <laughs> they got Santa Claus deciding the winner. <clears throat> Interesting. I want, I, this is really a difficult format to judge. I never like these kind when I do it at events. So I can't really focus on what they're doing. It's like who can distract my attention the most. <laughs> it's like, bring out the monkeys, they're auditioning. Ah. I guess a lot of people like this format. I don't know who, who decided on this format. Don't know, I know they do this in uh, some other dance styles too, but I can't, I can't really watch everybody if I'm supposed to just be like, <laughs> I don't know, man. <clears throat> Maybe I'm just complaining. <clears throat> I don't know. Let's see. Round two. Although, I didn't like the format. This was the couple I had going to the next level.
Welcome to church. <laughs> oh my God, give it up! Yeah, that was good. Give it up! Yes, I am. I'm giving it up. Now that's what I like to see. Where is this event at? It looks like it is in, ah, looks like it's in California, according to those pictures posted so uh, perfectly on the stage. <clears throat> Some classic Lindy Hoppers. Man, this is a hard competition to judge. I got to first out say, like I said before, nobody's neutral. Everybody has uh, some kind of fundamental standard of how they're judging everything. And I'm pretty open about my perspective on why I decide something's good versus why I decide something's not as good. Um, and it's three things that I look at. <clears throat> Clearly, control. That just simply means can I see a lead do their job? and a follower do their job without either of them swapping roles or like in the middle of it, like fighting each other. You know, the lead gives the energy and then immediately he starts moving so you can't see what the follower's doing. I don't like that. I, either I don't like that or I don't like <clears throat> the follower uh, shining and moving and the leader's distracting. It's like, ah, oh, come on. So I gotta see some fluid movement from lead to follow one body sharing energy at different points at this level both these couples had that i will say though the couple that had the black i believe with he had blonde hair i think that might be blake i'm not sure <clears throat> nice guy i was uh met him at another event i was just teaching at and i think they they were a little bit more polished that word polished for me means i can see that effect happening more easily I can see call and response, and I don't see the leader getting in the way of when the follower needs to move and be highlighted in that moment. So <clears throat> I give that component to that couple. Timing is the second thing I look at. Timing is huge. You could literally scratch your back, pull your ear, make a chicken dance in the right time, and persuade judges to give you first place simply because it, it was perfect with the music, the audience responded to it, and Sometimes that just works. So timing is really, really important to me <clears throat> because it's not just about dancing. It's about amplifying something that everybody hears. So the music for me is the fundamental thing that's making it a reality for both the leader and the follower. But if they don't decide at some point to emphasize an obvious point in the music that might change or is louder than other parts of the music, I feel like they're bringing the song down a little bit with their dancing. So if I can see dancers emphasize that timing on occasion, not necessarily all the time, but let me know visually what is happening audibly, I'm sold. <clears throat> they got control and timing. They're usually the second place winner. Usually a second place winner. But that first place winner is a little different. They have the last component, which is creativity. And I say it a lot, and, I, and I'm bold about it, but there's not that much creativity in Lindy Hop. I, I've been dancing for a long time now. I've seen a whole bunch, and there's very few people that are bold enough, courageous enough to put new ideas out there and polish those ideas. It takes guts, it takes effort, and it takes work to put yourself out there uh, for criticism because not everybody's going to like your new idea, particularly if you're an original. So I, I score people really high on the creativity part. So if you have all three, you're first place, right? The problem with this competition format is that these dancers aren't dancing for judges. They're dancing for an audience that's there. Both of these couples had control, both had timing, and they both had some creativity. I will say the couple that had... Uh, I think she had a white dress on, red shoes. <clears throat> he had yellow hair. I think they had a little bit more creativity. 
Um, I would be a little bit more biased as a judge. I'd say I saw a couple of moves I haven't seen before, which means I'm going to rank that person slightly higher um, because that's harder to do. It's easier to imitate and emulate than it is to be an original. So mad props for that. You get, you get scored really highly for that. I think they had the better <clears throat> creativity, but here's the deciding factor for me. And this is something that's not in those three. This has to do with wisdom, knowing your audience. The couple that I felt that won for me, if I was literally watching them as a mature swing dancer, is the couple that he had the blonde hair right here and his rest of his hair is black. I think it was black jacket, gray pants. And his partner with the flowery dress, they won for me. Why is that? Because um, I saw more social dancing as a, as the anchor of what they were doing in their presentation more than I saw choreography. I came from the world of choreography. It's easy if you're a dancer. But Lindy Hop is more interesting when you have that non-choreographed element in there mixed with choreography on occasion. It's much more appealing to me, and I think that's fascinating. Also, the things that were... Um, should I say choreographed, didn't look choreographed. I looked at some of those moves and I thought, I can actually lead some of those things. For me, that's the best kind of choreography, the stuff that you can actually take from the choreography world and easily transition that into the lead follow world. So, huge props. But for me, they got second place, mainly because I feel in this type of arena for this type of audience, this is about winning the audience. This is about showmanship. It is not necessarily about balance. And I know a lot of judges, we get pretentious. <laughs> we start judging people on what they're not doing. And this is one of those cases where there was nothing wrong with their dancing. They hit all three, but the differentiating factor between them and another couple that could hit all three is the audience, knowing the audience that they're dancing for. So they, they decided to do less flashy stuff, less choreographed stuff, which gets points in my book. But for the audience, turning somebody who doesn't know anything about Lindy Hop into a Lindy Hopper, I'm going to take the other couple. By far. I'm going to say, you come out swinging, showing me some choreography. It all looks the same to me. Choreographed swing out versus a improvised swing out. It all looks the same to a newbie. The only reason I bring people lower who choreograph everything that they do uh, than I would someone else is because the the control part is lacking not the timing because they clearly choreographed their movements to the t to fit the music but sometimes the control part that really breathes the essence of what lindy hop is about that call and response is lacking and it looks a little forced and programmed but this couple didn't necessarily have that problem per se 100 percent. i won't say some of that wasn't there but I will say they didn't suffer from their choreography like a lot of people do when I judge them. So I would have put them first place uh, by a margin. Yeah, just first place simply because they were able to get the audience engaged by doing things that they haven't seen and fitting it with the timing, right? <clears throat> it's like a hip hop battle. It really is. It's like a songwriter versus someone who could do punchlines. And I'm one of those complex, you know, thinkers. I'm really into lyrics and all that stuff. But a brand new person, all it takes is to hear a punchline that rhymes and makes sense. And it can hit much harder than a bunch of like theoretical uh, gibberish to the average person, right? So that's what I say. This was a good competition. I actually like the end result, uh, who got to the final and who got second place in my mind. But I'm a little disappointed on the format. I, I can't really appreciate what I'm seeing because I'm just having to vacillate between both couples at the same time. And it really isn't really fair if uh, I'm the one that's got to judge what they're doing by some unsaid <laughs> standard. So hopefully you guys see my standard and you understand that. Um, this is great. Dancers, fantastic. Fantastic. If you guys haven't taken a class from them, I would. I would, I would be in that audience being like, hey, Somebody invited me to this. To, how do y'all do this? I want to learn how to do it. Teach me right now. So I would encourage you guys, if you're not in the game yet, you haven't really like jumped out there to start doing Lindy Hop or even competed in a competition of this such uh, fashion, 
you should do it. You should do it. Take some, it takes some time to get your confidence up, but just throw yourself out there and take a class. It's worth it. If you want to um, figure out how to do that quickly without taking a long time, I encourage you to, to check out some of my classes below. I have an online community where you know our whole thing is making Lindy Hop simple, making the technique so simple where we get all that drama out of the way. We don't over glamorize it in such a way where it's no longer interesting or you forget that this is about your unique fingerprint and creativity. So each week we post new fresh content that you haven't seen before because online there's all kind of stuff being posted all the time, kind of like circulating the same old moves, right? And uh, that gets kind of boring. So students keep me going. Each week we provide new stuff for you guys to stay updated and inspired. So check those classes out if you guys are wanting to get to that next level. I could be wrong. Who do you think won this competition? This is just my opinion. I love my opinion and I'm not scared to say it, but what do you think? Who do you think should have won this competition? Are these dancers overrated? Am I completely wrong? Right? I wanna know what you think. Hit me up in the comment section. If I don't see you online in my class, I will see you in the next reaction video. Take care.